Hi there, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. The crochet textured box stitch almost looks like a modern waffle stitch and looks great for blankets, scarves, and more. It's a stitch multiple of three plus two, so I'll start with a chain 23. Skip the first chain and in the remaining chains, make one single crochet stitch across. This just forms a nice foundation at the bottom of the work. For row two, we'll chain one and turn our work. In the same stitch, make a single crochet stitch. And then we'll make a chain two. Next, we'll skip two of our single crochet stitches from the row below and make a single crochet stitch in the next stitch. And repeat. Chain two, skip two stitches from the row below and make a single crochet stitch in the next stitch. Chain two again, skip two stitches, and make a single crochet in the next stitch. You'll continue with this pattern across the row. You should end with a single crochet stitch in the very last stitch. You can see what this looks like thus far. Moving on to row three now. We'll start out by making a chain three and turning our work. In each of the previous chain two spaces from the row below, we're going to place three double crochet stitches all in that same space. Now for our next stitch, we're going to look for our previous single crochet stitch and make a front post double crochet stitch around it. You can see what this looks like thus far. Then we move on to our previous chain two space from the row below. And in this space, as before, we're going to make three double crochet stitches all in that same space. Once completed with that, we're going to make a front post double crochet stitch around the next single crochet stitch from the row below. We'll continue with this textured box stitch pattern of the three double crochet followed by a front post double crochet stitch across the row. You can see what my sample stitch pattern looks like thus far. Now, when you get to the end of this row, it's difficult to make a front post stitch around the last stitch. So just place a normal double crochet stitch on the top of the last stitch. For row four, we'll start off with a chain one and then turn our work. Then we make a single crochet in the first stitch, followed by a chain two. This time, however, we're going to skip over those three double crochet stitches and instead place our next single crochet stitch in the top of the previous front post double crochet stitch. So we do our chain two, skip over the three double crochet, and single crochet on the top of the previous front post double crochet stitch. And at the end, you'll place your last single crochet stitch at the top of the previous row's chain three turning chain. You can see what this looks like thus far. Moving on to row five now, We'll make a chain three and then turn our work. And just as before, in each of the previous chain two spaces, we'll place three double crochet stitches in each of these spaces. Then we'll move on to the front post double crochet stitch around the next single crochet stitch. And repeat, make your three double crochet stitches all in the next chain two space. And then around the next single crochet stitch, make a front post double crochet stitch. Continue with this pattern across the row. You can see what it looks like once completed. Moving forward, we're just going to repeat rows four and five. So for the repeat of row four, that's the one where we make the single crochet stitch, a chain two, skip over the three double crochet stitches, and place the single crochet on the top of the front post stitch. And row five is the one where we alternate between the three double crochet stitches in the previous chain two space. You can change colors every two rows as well. And that's how I crochet the textured box stitch.